We now make our second trip into Pixar's 1998 A Bug's Life. In order to deal with Hopper and his gang bullying his colony, Flick made a trip to the city in order to search for bigger bugs to help fight them off. Instead of finding warrior bugs, he ends up recruiting circus bugs who aren't even good at being circus bugs. Among them was a gypsy moth simply named Gypsy. <laughs> Stage is the other way, dear. Yes, of course. Gypsy was voice played by Madeline Kahn, who had passed away a year after the film's release. Not only was the beautiful and majestic Gypsy assistant to Manny the Mantis, but she was also his wife. Once called to perform, neither her or her husband could save a show where it became more entertaining to heckle the performers than watch. Manny? Manny! Then after the last ditch effort to use the idea of setting somebody on fire to save the show went up in flames, Peachy the Flea fired Gypsy and the rest of her co-workers. She is next seen alongside them drowning her sorrows at a bar, but she and the others soon had to avoid a fight and took the whole place down with them trying to get away. <laughs> Flick, seeing her and the rest of the crew standing above a pile of other knocked out bugs, believed he finally found his warriors, and they thought he was looking for show talent. And like everyone else, she took the job without hesitation and traveled to an island with Flick's guidance, completely unaware of what he really wanted from her. Once they landed, the ants took to them rather quickly once they saw Flick was with them, and that gave Gypsy a chance to show off her colorful wings. But once she saw the ant colony's tribute to them and figured out what was really going on, she was not on board with being slaughtered and decided to leave. Flick trying to beg them not to go causes her and the others to land near a nest, where they get into a confrontation with a bird, and to make matters worse, Dot was hovering above in serious trouble. Heinle gets stuck between the narrow hole in the ground while distracting the bird away from Dot and Francis. It's here, Gypsy makes a distraction save of her own and leads the bird away. Once the bird was chased away, she soon returned to the ant colony and hero with the rest of her co-workers. And like the rest, she kept up the charade a little longer, as it was hard resisting real cheers and little kids wanting an autograph for once. She then went on to help assist in creating the fake bird that would help scare Hopper and his gang away. At the height of when the ant colony was beginning to relax and not worry about vicious grasshoppers for once, Gypsy and the others had grown to really love the ant colony and didn't want to leave after Flick gave them the green light to do so. But then a small problem arrived in the form of their old boss PT, who wanted to hire them back after Flaming Death ended up being successful. He exposed Gypsy and the others as frauds and landed Flick in trouble, who was then banished from his home. When the colony couldn't gather up enough food and the Queen's life was at stake, Dot went to bring Flick and the others back. That's where Gypsy reminded them that the bird they made still existed. Ooh, I know the bird. It took a little more convincing, but they soon went back to put a stop to Hopper. Before the bird could be released, the queen had to be taken out of harm's way. Using the signature Chinese food carton act with her husband Manny, Gypsy emerged from the box after switching places with her and gave the signal to send it flying. Hopper had soon suspected something was wrong, and the bird now needed to go quickly while Gypsy was fighting to pull him off Manny, who was now getting choked to death. After the plan literally goes up in flames thanks to P.T., she is eventually seen standing united with the rest of the ant colony to finally take down Hopper and his gang once and for all. I'm gonna tell my kids this was Avengers Endgame. Once he was taken care of and it was safe for ants to be ants again, she and the other circus bugs gifted Ad up with a rock, thinking it was an ant custom. Gypsy and the others soon take their leave, with the colony launching its own version of fireworks to celebrate them on their departure. Thank you for watching Furry Girl Profiles Gypsy. Please remember to leave a like, comment back, and subscribe for more content. My name is Jawbreaker, and I thank you for watching Play First Cinema.